What's up guys? So uh, obviously this is not keto, not, uh, not, not healthy. Um, it, is, it is very delicious though. See, I'm kind of struggling this week and I've always wanted to be real honest with the vlog. I don't want to be one of those people who just kind of puts their best foot forward and, you know, tweaks everything to make it seem like my life is all sunshine and roses. And, and maybe you've been able to tell I've, I've done like, you know, two episodes from my, uh, from my office. I have been working a lot. Um, that's, that's always a real good excuse not to get to the gym, right? And not being in the gym is always a real good excuse to eat off, eat bad, right? I don't know, but it is for me anyway. Probably four or five days of just kind of been indulging every craving that I have. So that's, that's what this is. See, it'd be super easy with me to get like all down on myself and oh, you know, I'm fat kid. It's almost like when I get down on myself, I feel better about letting myself off the hook because I'm mad at myself, I'm punishing myself, whatever. It's, it's a real weird dynamic, almost like letting myself off the hook by not letting myself off the hook. Like, oh, I'm doing this thing I know I shouldn't do, but I feel really bad about it. I'm going to get down on myself. And so therefore, like, I've already reaped my punishment. I don't know. The things that, the things that go on in the mind of a fat kid. So instead of getting all down on myself and punishing myself for, you know, indulging my cravings or not having the willpower to stick to whatever, uh, you know what, I've decided um, I'm just not gonna care about it today, you know? Uh, indulge those cravings, right? All things, all things in moderation, even moderation, right? Some days, some days you gotta have a cheat day if I'm having a cheat week, well then, uh, so what about that? It's always tough for me to decide. You know, my favorite cheat meals are uh, pizza and a ton of Chinese. Today I went with a ton of Chinese. I'm usually less of a cake guy, more like a ice cream guy, but uh, Man, I don't know, something about the uh, cupcakes just pulled me in tonight. How do you eat your cupcakes? You bite into them or you make them into a little sandwich? I'm a sandwich guy. You know, it's not about letting myself off the hook. It's about giving myself permission to do things that I want to do, do things that I enjoy. You know, I only answer to me, but a lot of times I feel like I should be constantly on the grind, you know, like I'm constantly behind the eight ball, like I'm letting somebody down if I'm not doing the things I'm supposed to do. Well, it's not the way I want to be. You know, if one of my friends came to me and was like, man, struggling this week, motivation's kind of lagging and I've been eating junk food and I know I need to stop, but gosh, I really just kind of want Chinese tonight. <sighs> you know, I'm not going to beat up on that friend. I'm not going to run him down and 
be like, oh, come on, man, you, you want to do this thing? You told me you wanted to be keto, whatever, you know? I'm going to be understanding. We all go through those times. I, I probably am going to take him to dinner and just be like, let's go get some Chinese, and then tomorrow you can get back to work. That makes me wonder, you know, why, why am I not that good a friend to myself? I think I need to be. I think we all need to be that good a friend to ourselves.